There is significant progress being made on the city of Tallahassee's Thomas P. Smith water reclamation facility. The city has made an environmental commitment to protect Wakola Springs and the city's water supply. Their main goal for this project is to provide a more efficient and enhanced nutrient removal treatment process. This will produce effluent that meets the new Florida Department of Environmental Protection permitting requirements. Wakulla Springs is one of the largest freshwater springs in the world. And it's the environmental centerpiece of the Big Bend region. Everyone wants to preserve and protect the Wakulla Springs water quality. Meeting this goal requires the construction of a new liquids train and biosolids treatment facility to increase the plant capacity from 26.5 million gallons to 31 million gallons per day. It also includes converting the three existing aeration trains to biological nutrient removal basins, reducing the effluent nitrogen concentration from 9% to 3%. We are two years ahead of schedule in meeting that permit requirement. Right now, our we are below 3 million per liter total nitrogen. The city and MWH constructors have worked extensively with the local contracting community, providing employment for over 200 craft workers and an estimated economic impact of over $100 million for the local Tallahassee economy. Construction began in October 2008 and is being completed in three phases to allow the plant to remain fully operational. The first phase of construction at the Thomas P. Smith Water Reclamation Facility included improvements to the liquid treatment process. So this was work package one of the project. This is a liquids treatment facility. Uh, it consisted of eight new major structures, which was the headworks facility, three primary clarifiers, which are here behind you, uh, the structure we're on now, which is the deep bed filter, and the chlorine contact facility. Also along to support these facilities was eight new electrical buildings, feed everything, and two new chemical storage facilities. The second phase of the project consisted of construction of two new 90-foot digesters and an internal digestion facility. The digested sludge comes to this facility, which is the centrifuge room, and polymer uh, flocculant is uh, blended with the sludge, which runs about 3% of the digested sludge. 18% solid sludge is then conveyed to the dryer facility. It is pumped through the dryer, which dries at about 5,000 kilograms per hour and produces a, uh, about a 92% solids pellet, which is commercially viable for sale. The third phase of the project involves upgrades and rehabilitation of six biological nutrient removal basins, or BNR basins. The modifications to the BNR basins include the construction of baffle walls to create multiple aeration zones in each basin. Additionally, we're installing new diffuser equipment um, and new mixers, as well as the installation of new internal recycle pumps. The overall project contains intricate piping and electrical utility modifications that require a great deal of planning to successfully tie in new services to existing facilities. We constructed a new 15 kV switchgear and distribution system. The system is all underground and the, the old antiquated overhead system will all be demoed when this system's up and running. The tie-ins require careful coordination between the contractor and the plant's operation staff to ensure the required plant shutdowns or the shutdown of individual facilities are quick and safe. The key success factor involved in the installation of process piping on the project has been the detailed planning and coordination conducted by MWH constructors and the City of Tallahassee's plant operation staff. We're standing right now is in front of the 42-inch influent line that feeds this plant. This was one of our major tie-ins to this uh, plant site, and it was done over a course of three days, 24 hours a day by a team of four different crews. The entire Thomas P. Smith water reclamation facility upgrade is expected to be complete by January 2015. Everyone in the city, including myself and upper management, are very pleased with the success of this project. We're meeting the permit requirements and we've had minimal impact on city airport operations. We have a glowing safety record, no lost time accidents, and 
we've been able to maintain continuous operations of our existing treatment plant. We have met every challenge with success, and yes, I can say with unhesitatingly that we are extremely pleased with this project.